Following a declining lithium price environment, which has sustained for the past two to three years since mid-2018, when lithium was initially recognized as crucial to the lithium-ion battery growth story and electric vehicle revolution, we've now begun to see some nascent price increases, which began in Q4 2020, in the order of 5 to 10% at first for lithium carbonate within China. But since the start of 2021, we've now seen price increases nearly reaching 100% year-to-date, so doubling since January 2021. The most consistent and marked price rises have been for lithium carbonate traded within China, which has risen by an average of 98% so far this year. Prices for lithium hydroxide and spodumene have been more stable year-to-date, but we're beginning to see some nascent price increases in these lithium products as well, as the sentiment surrounding carbonate and a forecasted deficit in lithium supply begins to set in with many market participants in the industry. Recent price increases within China have also now carried through to the global spot market and have marked the beginning of a rising lithium price environment ahead of a forecasted supply deficit in light of demand side growth rates. Following soaring prices recorded in early 2021 in the Chinese domestic market for lithium carbonate, we've now started to see these price rises within China carry through to our other grades. Whilst contracted pricing in other jurisdictions is still linked to terms reached in Q4 2020 due to the slightly longer contract terms outside of the spot market within China, spot pricing is now also on the rise globally and we're very likely to see the vast majority of contract pricing revised upwards when orders are renegotiated for renewal this year. Price rises will be less stark outside of China in percentage terms, as prices are starting from a typically higher base level. Yet we expect price rises to continue outside of China, even though ex-Chinese carbonate prices have already risen by an average of 21% this year. To understand recent lithium price rises, it's valuable to examine the prior example of the rising price environment in the lithium market. This happened during 2017 and 2018, when prices rose between 300 and 400% from stable lows in 2014 and 2015, as the lithium ion growth story began to reach a market accustomed only until that point to serving industrial markets with relatively marginal growth. At this point, Demand for lithium jumped significantly, placing upward pressure on the price and bringing benchmarked global weighted lithium price up to over $17,000 per tonne, a far cry from even the $9,100 per tonne we've reached in February 2021. Following initial price rises in 2017 and 2018, Plenty of new lithium deposit developers, especially developing hard rock sources to bring material to market quickly, joined the market to provide new lithium supply to the battery industry. Unfortunately, this pushed the market into a structural surplus, and prices then continued to fall, initiating the low price environment, as producers competed to place material amongst a limited pool of battery customers in a nascent market. More recently, Low pricing, alongside impacts from COVID-19, have meant producers have had to delay investment into expanding production capacity, despite the long-term demand forecast, and in some cases have even entered moderated production and administration, where market pricing fell below incentive prices for producers to continue expanding and continue producing. With recent supply cutbacks and delays due to COVID-19 and otherwise, the market has not developed enough supply to meet demand in the mid-term, which will inevitably place upward pressure on pricing. Benchmark expects a small deficit in the lithium market balance this year, in the order of 5 to 10,000 tonnes LCE, yet by the middle of the decade, we expect this to increase to over 200,000 tonnes LCE as new supply reaching the market lags behind demand-side growth rates. Upward price pressure is therefore likely to maintain, with less potential downside given that 2021 appears to be the tipping year for electric vehicle sales, encouraging demand 
throughput throughout the entire supply chain. Price volatility, like the market has been experiencing so far this year, ought to be managed towards the end of this decade, once adequate supply has been planned for the long-term growth of the EV market, and we expect prices to settle near an incentive price for new producers to join when new supply is needed. Benchmark has recently launched a twice-month publication of data for three of our lithium prices in the domestic Chinese market. These are Xworks China Lithium Carbonate Technical Grade, Xworks China Lithium Carbonate Battery Grade, and Xworks China Lithium Hydroxide. We made this move to provide more clarity into the most liquid part of the lithium market. Due to the speed of price rises at the moment, we decided that it would be more valuable for subscribers to be able to track Chinese pricing which has historically been the bellwether of lithium market price movement on a semi-monthly basis. This is due to the nature of that market, which tends to operate more on spot transactions than quarterly or longer contracts, often revealing market imbalance earlier than pricing in other jurisdictions.